Our lesson for today, we are going to look at oxidation numbers, lesson 102. Let us start. Before we look at the rules of assigning oxidation numbers, or let me say oxidation state, it's one the same thing. Let us actually try to understand what is oxidation number. What is the definition of oxidation number? Oxidation number is defined as the charge the atom would have if electrons were not shared but were transferred completely. Then there are a few points that you need to understand when we talk about oxidation numbers. One of the points is that for a binary ionic compound, the oxidation number is equivalent to the ionic charge. We are going to explain that in detail when we look at the rules. And then the other point you should know that is for covalent compounds or polyatomic ions, the oxidation number is less obvious and can be determined by a given set of rules. So now let us go through the rules. And then after the rules, we are going to look at examples where we'll be applying those rules and assign the oxidation numbers. We are going to look at um, many examples for practice purposes. So I'll show you how to actually use these practice questions. Now let us look at the rules of assigning oxidation numbers for each element or polyatomic ions. The first rule that we should know is that for an atom in its elemental form, the oxidation is number. And then these are the examples. The oxidation number of sodium is zero, the oxidation number of oxygen molecule is zero, hydrogen molecule, and so forth. You should know that each and every element, when it's in its elemental form, which is not in a compound, the oxidation number is zero. Our second rule is for monatomic ions. The oxidation number of monatomic ions is equals to the ionic charge. So for example, the oxidation number of fluorine ion is 1 minus. For hydrogen ion, it's 1 plus. For sodium ion, it's 1 plus. Our third rule, you should know that the sum of the oxidation number in molecules is equals to the overall charge or the overall ion. Well, this rule, we are going to explain it in detail when we look at the first example. So stay tuned for rule number three. We have another set of rules which we focus mainly on atoms and predictable groups. Let us focus, let us look at the first rule of this set of rules. The first rule, when you look at the predictable, all the elements in group number one, their oxidation number is equal to one plus in compounds. We should be specific. We're talking about the oxidation numbers in compounds. We look at group two, the oxidation number is two plus in compounds. There's a general rule for hydrogen. The oxidation number of hydrogen is one plus if it bonds with nonmetals and then it's one minus if it bonds with metals. And then looking at this one, one minus with metals, this is also applicable when it bonds with boron, specifically boron. The oxidation number of fluorine in all compounds is one minus. There is a specific rule for oxygen. The oxidation number of oxygen is two minus in all compounds except for bonding with fluorine. And then the oxidation number of oxygen is one minus when it bonds with peroxides. All the elements in group number seven, their oxidation number is negative one, except bonding with oxygen. These are the set of rules that we need to follow when we assign oxidation numbers. Now let us start with our practice questions. We are going to calculate the oxidation number of each element in this compound. So how do we use this lesson video to gain skills and learn as we watch? This is what will happen. I will display a question like this. You pause the video. 
try to work out the question you play the video to verify your answer for the first example and the second example you may watch the video without pausing so that you can gain the basic on how to apply those rules now in this case we can verify that this is not a peroxide and then there's a specific rule for oxygen we said oxygen the oxidation number is always 2 minus so in this case the oxidation number is 2 minus now to check the oxidation number of calcium even though it's in group number 2 we know that it will be 2 plus but we can go ahead and calculate quickly so we have one atom of calcium then we are going to put x plus uh, one atom of oxygen we are going to say 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0 now we should understand something we have ionic molecules or ionic compounds and compounds ionic compounds it's something like this you can see the difference the difference is that we have a net charge or we can say it's an overall charge for the sake of understanding when there is no plus or minus like this you should know that the overall charge is zero so the sum of the two this and this the sum of the oxidation number of this plus the, 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 the oxidation number of this it should give you the overall so in this case we're going to say this plus this it must give us plus one so in this case we can see that our overall charge is equal to zero so x which is the oxidation number of calcium plus one multiplied by negative two it should give us the overall charge which is zero so we have x minus two is equal to zero x is equal to two plus so the oxidation number of calcium is two plus and since calcium is in group number two we verify that the oxidation number is two plus that's how we assign oxidation numbers let's go ahead and calculate the oxidation numbers for each element in this compound when we refer to rules there is a specific rule for oxygen this is not a peroxide there is a specific rule for potassium it's in group number one there's no rule for nitrogen so we can go ahead and calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen now looking at the rules the oxidation number of oxygen it will be 2 minus and then the oxidation number of potassium it will be 1 minus I mean 1 plus because it's in group number 1 then now we are trying to figure out the oxidation number of nitrogen we are going to use mathematics so we have one atom of um, potassium which will be 1 plus plus nitrogen we have one atom of nitrogen so it will be 1x plus 3 atom of oxygen then 2 minus equals 2 what is the overall charge we have 0 here so 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 x multiplied by 1 is x 3 multiplied by negative 2 we have negative 6 it's equal to 0 1 plus 1 minus 6 is negative 5 equals to 0 then we will transpose we have x as our 5 plus so the oxidation number of nitrogen in this compound is 5 plus pause the video work out this question play the video to verify let us go through this this is in group number two this is oxygen so calcium has 2 plus oxygen has 2 minus carbon we are not sure so we have x plus calcium it's 2 plus we have three atoms of oxygen equals to the overall is zero so x plus 2 minus 6 is equals to zero x minus 4 is equals to zero and then x is equals to 4 plus so for carbon we have 4 plus these are the oxidation numbers of each element in this compound the oxidation number of each element here you should know that the oxidation number of this is equal to zero since this is just a molecule on its elemental form oxidation number of each element hydrogen is from, is from group number one so the oxidation number is one plus Hydro, um, oxygen 
I mean hydrogen is in group number one, oxygen is two minus. Let us look at this lithium hydride. In this case, lithium is in group number one, hydrogen is also in group number one. Lithium is a metal, hydrogen is a non-metal. There is a rule for hydrogen bonding with metals. So in this case, hydrogen will be one minus, lithium will be one plus. We can conclude that whenever hydrogen bonds with any element from group number one, remember that hydrogen is from group number one. If it bonds with any element from group number one, its oxidation number, oxidation state, it's one minus because all the elements in group number one, they have an oxidation state of one plus. So in order to get this overall charge, we must have one minus plus one plus to give us zero. Let us look at this different example from the previous ones. We know that oxygen will have two minus. And that hydrogen is from group number one. It will have one plus. Now the sum of the two, we can see that it gives us the overall charge of negative one. We can go ahead and calculate. Oxygen is two minus plus Let's say we want to calculate the oxidation number of hydrogen. I'm going to put X is equal to the overall charge is negative 1. So X is equal to negative 1 plus 2. X is equal to 1 plus. So the oxidation number of hydrogen is 1 plus of oxygen is 2 minus. Let's look at oxidation number of each element in this case. This is ion 3 plus because of this subscript. So you can say the oxidation number of ion in this case is 3 plus. Then the oxidation number of oxygen is 2 minus. Let us calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen. In this case we have this parenthesis or let me say bracket this bracket. So what we are going to do, we are going to see the sum of this plus, since we have 3 here, it will be 3, apprentices, this plus this. It's equal to the overall, which is 0. So we have 3 for ion plus this 3, open bracket, nitrogen will be x plus 3, let me actually use square brackets here. Then we open bracket 2 minus. Overall it's 0. Now we need to work out. So we have this multiplied by this. We are going to have x minus 6 is equal to 0. Then we have 3 plus distribute. 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. And then we have 3 minus 18 is 3x minus 15 is equal to 0. 3x is equal to 15. We divide both sides by 3. And then x is equal to 5 plus. So the oxidation number of nitrogen in this case is 5 plus. Let's go ahead and do this one. Remember you are post the video, do the question, play the video to verify. Oxygen, we are going to have 2 minus. Hydrogen, we are going to have 1 plus. And then we are looking for nickel. In this case, you can see the overall charge is negative 1. So we have x plus 2. Um, okay. Oxygen is negative 2 plus hydrogen is simply 1 equals to negative 1. So we have x plus 2 inside the bracket will have negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Then x minus 2 is equal to negative 1. x is equal to negative 1 plus 2. 
then x is equal to 1 plus. So the oxidation number of nickel in this compound, this is a unique compound by the way, it's 1 plus. The oxidation number of hydrogen, this oxygen is not a metal, so hydrogen will have a, a oxidation number state or oxidation state of 1 plus. And then oxygen in this case, this is a peroxide, it should have 2 minus because if, no, I meant to say 1 minus. If we take this as 2 minus, you will see that the overall charge will not be 0 because look at this. We have 2 hydrogen, which is 1 plus, plus 2. This will not be equal to 0 because we have 2 plus negative 4, 2 minus 4, then we're going to have negative 2 as our oxidation state. So in this case, in order to get this 0, we need um, oxygen to have oxidation state of 1 minus. There is a rule for fluorine. Fluorine, its oxidation number will always be 1 minus. So in this case, we are going to calculate bromine. So we have X plus 4 fluorine. The overall charge is 1 plus. So we have X, 4 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 4 equals to 1 plus. Then we have X is equals to 4 plus 1. Then X will be equals to 5 plus. So for Br, we have oxidation number of 5 plus. In this case, oxygen will have oxidation number of 2 minus then hydrogen will have oxidation number of 1 plus because we can see that we have 3 plus 1 plus negative 2 this will give us positive 1 let us prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we have 3 minus 2 equals to 1 then we can see that we have 1 so yes these are the oxidation numbers the overall charge in this case it's 1 minus hydrogen will have 1 plus oxygen will have 2 minus then let us look for self so we have 1 plus x plus 4 of negative 2 it's equals to the overall charge in this case it's negative 1 so we have 1 plus x minus 8 it's equals to negative 1 so we have 1 minus 8 to give us negative 7 is equals to negative 1 x is equals to negative 1 plus 7 then x is equals to 6 plus sulfur in this case has 6 plus well this is how we actually assign oxidation numbers these girls will actually help you how to identify the element that undergoes oxidation or reduction in redox reaction how to identify um, oxidizing agents and reducing agent there is a lesson video where we look at that topic but before you look at that lesson video please go through this lesson videos of oxidation numbers then you'll be good to go that's it for this lesson video this is Fahula SJ thank you very much